the Sofair building in downtown Yangon. 100 years ago, this was the most prestigious building and location in Southeast Asia. It was built in 1906 by a Jewish businessman from Baghdad called Isaac Sofair. Today, the building is in a mostly derelict state. The upstairs compartments are used for habitation. But in recent years, the downstairs compartments have been renovated and are now open for business. In this video, we will explore these places with our guest guide, Tel Ted. Hello. This blue facade houses a trendy restaurant and bar named after the building itself. Sofair and Company. The interior has been kindly restored to its original state. Notice the tiles on the floor, which are the originals imported from Manchester in England more than 100 years ago. Besides being a trendy bar, Sofia and Company also serves up a menu of Asian fusion food. It has a relaxing atmosphere. As usual, it is a hot day in Yangon, and Tel Ted is enjoying an iced coffee to cool down. We enter the Mian House souvenir shop. Myanmar cup, and you can make the wonderful style. Traditional Myanmar hat. 85,000 for this one. This is like traditional Myanmar puppet? Yes. Chinlo. How much does that cost? How much? What is it made from? Yeah. Cane ball. Okay, they call it cane ball. The cane ball is used in a traditional Myanmar street sport. find many souvenirs inside this shop. This is real the two address and ten thousand chance. Next we arrive at the longest surviving place in the Sofair building, the Lokanat Art Galleries, which opened in nineteen seventy one.
They are on the first floor. Again you notice the original Manchester ceramic tiles. When we visited, a new exhibit called the Uncle and Nephew exhibition had just opened. The man to the right is the uncle. His name is Sorlet. These are his paintings, which are in an expressionist style. Del Ted asked the artist about his craft. Back out on the street. <laughs> A traditional Myanmar tea house. Here you can get Burmese tea and a cheap meal. More original Manchester tiles. see a poster for the uncle and nephew exhibit here. Man selling slingshots. Tell Ted tells me that people use them to kill bats. This is the bell that is rung when Buddhist monks announce their arrival. How did they... like that. Like that. Here is a health and safety warning. This stray dog at the door looks peaceful enough, but when I walked past it, it jumped up and almost bit me. We are now inside the Gecko Bar and Restaurant, which is another trendy place. I previously made a full video about the Gecko Bar and Restaurant, which you can find a link to in the description box below. We walk back out on the street. On 37th Street is a traditional Myanmar guest house. It is on the first floor of the Sofair building. I have previously shown this place in another video about 37th Street, which you can also find a link to in the description below. This is a Japanese sushi restaurant. We ask permission to film inside, which is kindly granted.
This place has some awesome large chairs where you can sit down and enjoy the view of the sushi chef preparing some fresh sushi. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos.